One question that I've always asked when I'm in the garden is, do you take your dahlias up every year? Well, some I do and some I don't. The ones I do are where I want to change the planting scheme for the following year. The ones I don't, as you see here, um, I don't need to change this every year. This is a fantastic display. It's a big chunky dahlia. I'm afraid I don't know the name of it, but it's unstable in the fact that some of the flowers come and they're pure orange. One or two are absolutely pure red and some are streaked orange and red. It's a beautiful shaped plant. It's a wonderful shaped bloom. It's kind of water lily in, 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 in form. And I think it's a superb thing. It's wonderful for cutting too, for bringing in the house. And as I said, I leave these in every year over the winter and they do absolutely fine. In front of it, I've got something called a Watsonia. This is a bulb that comes from South Africa. It's a little bit on the tender side. And the seed from these came from the Scilly Isles, from Tes Tresco. And they are known as Tresco hybrids, because if you look carefully, we're looking at an orange one there. And if you come over here a little bit, you will see here is a pink one. And so you've got these lovely kind of sunset warm colours. And I've planted them here in front of these dahlias because I intend to leave them in over the winter. OK, I'm going to help them a little bit. I'm going to give them a nice warm blanket of a mulch. I shall use spent mushroom compost um, and that will hopefully help them through the winter. Next year there'll be twice as many of them. Who knows? Over here, we have a little bit of a different picture. This was the prairie. Um, I say was the prairie because prairie gardening is just as difficult, if you like to use that word, just as difficult as ordinary gardening. You've got to attend to it all the time. And I actually got rather bored with the kind of prairie look and I needed to build a fruit garden. And so this is where it's going to go. And what we've done at the moment, we've weed killed everything here. We've cut it down to the ground. We've left these rather lovely little hay ricks. So all this material can actually dry. And once it's got dry, we're going to compost it. I'm not going to waste anything, so we're going to compost it so it will eventually find its way back into this garden. As I said, it's going to be a fruit garden. There's going to be a fruit cage in the middle. There's going to be various raised beds for all manner of fruit permanent fruit like rhubarb, um, strawberries, raspberries, cherries, you name it. I want to grow everything in here and I want it to be absolutely delicious. It takes time and we're not going to start this kind of work here until the winter, but it gives me time to think and I need that time because I'm going to improve the ideas as I go along and it's going to be, well watch this space.